Welcome to Quick Bites, QI World News, a platform where truth, honesty and transparency is manifested. Let's take a look at today's news. Following Elon Musk's purchase of Twitter, President Joe Biden said in a statement that he should review his relationship with foreign countries. Considering Musk's business relationship with foreign governments, including Saudi Arabia, many questioned if Musk threatened US national security. During a White House press conference, Biden chuckled and paused before answering, I think we should examine Elon Musk's cooperation and technical relationships with other countries, he said to reporters. The question is not whether he is doing anything inappropriate, I am just suggesting we should examine it, and that's all I can say. White House officials had earlier denied reports that it was planning a security review of Musk's dealing with Twitter. A White House press secretary said on October 24th that the national security review was false. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres delivered a speech at the COP27 climate conference in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt as leaders of numerous countries gather to discuss climate change and global warming. Watch the UN chief's COP27 address when he realizes what he said was wrong. He then chuckled and started all over again. So the world is losing the race against the climate crisis, but I'm hopeful because of you. You have been relentless in holding decision makers to account. I think that I was given the wrong speech. Um, I'm going to speak to the the group of young people afterwards. And uh, (laughs) there was a small confusion. I apologize. King Charles III and his wife, Camilla, were walking in York when the egging incident occurred during a walk in the northern England city. A 23-year-old man from the area has been arrested after the egging incident. In India, some Twitter users have been receiving a prompt encouraging them to subscribe to Twitter Blue. Earlier this week, the Blue service was launched in the US as well as few other countries. It is expected to be widely available soon in India. Based on the prompt, the service is expected to cost Rs 719 per month in India and will first be available to iPhone owners. A Twitter Blue user will get free without undergoing any verification the blue tick of verification. Moreover, Twitter owner Elon Musk has said that Twitter blue users also enjoy priority reach and display. Many have criticized Twitter's blue rollout, saying that it is handing verification badges to all sorts of users who might abuse the privilege. It has been said that Twitter blue users will forfeit their money and their accounts will be permanently suspended if they misuse it. Follow us on our social media platforms and log in to kvive.in, prakashtv.in and unatinews.in. That's all of the news for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.